Hi, so let's talk about headphone impedances today. Uh, you will find a head when you buy a headphone, uh, it will have, as we spoke about in ear, on ear um, types of headphones. The, you will also have on the headphone spec impedance of headphone. Now, usually consumer headphones like these will have something like 16 or 32 ohms, whereas uh, a professional headphone will have higher impedance, which, which could be 55 ohms, 65 ohms or 100 plus ohms or maybe even 250 ohms. Now how does that um, how does that relate to reality? How does it actually matter to us while using them? So let's look at the construction of a headphone. How is headphone made? Um, headphone basically has a diaphragm inside which is connected to a coil which is made out of usually a copper wire which is suspended in a fixed magnet. When the current flows through that coil, the coil produces electromagnetic field and moves according to the current and produces sound. Now when you have consumer products or consumer headphones which are lower in impedance, the coil which is used is thicker which is easy to, uh, easy to find, easy to produce and that thicker file, uh, that th thicker wire has got lesser impedance. Because of lesser impedance, your portable devices like your mobile phones or MP3 players can easily drive those headphones and produce sound. Whereas in higher end headphones where the impedance is much much higher, the coil used is a very specialized coil. It, the wire of the coil is very specialized. It is first of all very thin, it is many times one tenth of the size of the hair also, it's that thin and many a times it is not round it can be a rectangular or a flatbed wire why this this construction so that you get the maximum wire per uh, per millimeter you would say that the density of the wire is much much higher the air gap between the wires is much less that produces much better electromagnetic field and it gives you better sound the only uh, thing is we we need to take care of is those headphones need to be driven by a proper headphone amplifier because to drive such a high impedance headphone you need more voltage you need more current also to pump in now consumer devices have usually low power supply like a 3 volt or a 5 volt power supply that's what they run on they cannot drive bigger headphones because of the higher impedance for uh, so that's that's the reason why we usually in a in a studio or in a, in a professional environment our headphones will be plugged into a headphone jack of a mixer maybe or in a in a controlled studio environment we'll have a headphone amp which will drive the high impedance headphone and will give the required voltage and power to drive those headphones to its optimum level and give you the best of the sound. So impedance uh, uh, is all depends on where we are using it and how the, the product is being used. It doesn't mean that high impedance headphones if you plug it into your phone it will not play. It will play but at a very low volume maybe and the, the, the headphone is not playing at its best. If you want the best out of that headphone that needs to be plugged into a headphone amp which can deliver enough power to the headphone and give you the best sound experience.